how do you address God to how do you do, do you address the concept of God to Christians and to people who are spiritually uh, inclined, especially since we don't actually believe in religions and religious structures. And what I told that person was, is that obviously we have graduated from the concept that God is something external and God becomes internal. And you can check that in these scriptures because it says, oh, you're a child of God. So that means that if you're a child of God, then that means that you are a God. And so when you graduate from that, you realize that you are, in fact, the God. And you're also determ- you, you are the one that determines whether or not uh, you do this good or you do this evil. Just as in the book, it says, I am God, I do both good and evil. So from there, what you have to do, though, is realize that now you're off the crutches because God serves people externally that are not ready to make that step on their own. So it's also something that you have to be very concerned about. You just don't want to go and snatch the rug off from underneath everyone and let them know that the external God that they're worshiping worshiping is nothing more than, you know, a a figment of their mind versus who they really are inside and how they're the real connection to all that there really is. And so what you really have to address with them is that when you graduate to that next level, you're now responsible for also keeping yourself in balance. With the responsibility does come the power, but there is a, a big responsibility for you to also keep yourself connected. And and that's the main thing. So I, I won't be able to elaborate on it as deep as I want to elaborate on it because there's just a few minutes left. But just to remember that we are, in fact, the gods, but we determine what we become based on how we're able to govern this energy. And then once you leave that island, meaning once you leave this whole idea that there's an external God, then, v- and then very few people actually return to that. And, and that sometimes is what makes the adept is because you're not able to go back into believing that there's this external force that, and you know that everything is within. So this means that again, that you have the responsibilities of making sure that you govern the positive and negative energy that you're taking in and, and then actually being the real lord of your life and the real master of your own destiny.